Hey sports fans, here's the latest in local sports. Former Eagles head coach Dick Vermeer might finally get the Hall of Fame nod that Birds fans have been pushing for years. Vermeer won 126 career games during his 15 years of coaching in the NFL with the Eagles, Rams, and Chiefs. Vermeer won 10 or more games six times during his coaching career. He coached the Eagles from 1976 to 1982, racking up a 54 and 47 record over seven seasons and leading the Birds to their first ever Super Bowl appearance in 1980. Vermeer finished with a 3 and 4 postseason record in four consecutive playoff trips from 1978 to 1981 with the Eagles. From 1997 to 1999, Vermeer coached the Rams and helped lead the franchise to its first ever Super Bowl title by defeating the Tennessee Titans in its third and final season. Vermeer then coached five seasons in Kansas City, where he earned one division title and one playoff appearance. Congratulations to Dick Vermeer for being nominated for the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The Jacksonville Jaguars have traded quarterback Garnu Minshew II to the Philadelphia Eagles for a conditional 2022 sixth round pick. Minshew, who had been alternating practice days through the first team offense with Lawrence throughout training camp, completed 17 of 29 passes for 196 yards with two interceptions in two preseason games. He joins an Eagles quarterback room that includes Jalen Hurts and veteran Joe Flacco. For his career, Minshew has completed 501 of 797 passes for 5,530 yards with 37 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. Welcome to Philadelphia, Gardner! The New York Jets fans went wild celebrating a 49-yard Hail Mary toss. And then Josh Adams ran in the two-point conversion to secure the 31-31 tie with the Philadelphia Eagles in a preseason finale that was played on Friday night. Joe Flacco started for Philadelphia and threw two touchdown passes in the first half against his former team. Flacco, who spent last season as the backup to Sam Donald, found Boston Scott down the right sideline for a 49-yard touchdown. He was 13 of 16 for 188 yards and two scores. For the Jets, Josh Johnson finished 7 of 8 for 73 yards and the touchdown. The Jets got the ball back with a minute 38 to go and a chance to win. On third and seven, Morgan completed a pass to Daniel Brown for a first down, but the tight end had the ball whipped out of his hands by defensive back Michael Jackett, who ran it in for what appeared to be a win ceiling 32-yard touchdown. New York got the ball back with 59 seconds remaining, and Morgan, Yabara, and Adams sent the Jets and their fans home happy with a tie. Good luck to the Philadelphia Eagles in the 2021 NFL season. DC United rallied to end a three-game losing streak with a 3-1 win against the visiting Philadelphia Union on Saturday. Philadelphia took a 1-0 lead on a favorable bounce in the 22nd minute when Alejandro Bedoya's cross deflected off DC defender Steven Birnbaum and into the net. Ola Kamara tied it 1-1 in the 36th minute with his 12th of the season on a penalty kick. United was awarded the kick after Union defender Alvis Powell's sliding tackle in the box took down Reyna. DC went ahead 2-1 in the 50th minute. Blake made the initial save on Kamala's header off a Gressel cross and Reyna knocked in the rebound. Ramon Abala seared it with a shot from the right side of the goal mouth in the 5th minute of second half stoppage time to make it 3-1. Good luck to the Philadelphia Union in their next match against the New England Revolution on Friday.
Freddie Galvis drove in three runs, and Rafael Marchan and Travis Jankowski hit back-to-back -back RBI triples that sent the Philadelphia Phillies over the Arizona Diamondbacks 7-4 on Sunday. Bryce Harper, Gene Segura, and Marchand each had two hits for the Phillies. Philadelphia scored twice in the first on an RBI single by Andrew McCutcheon and a sacrifice fly by Galvis. Ranger Suarez allowed only one run in five and one third innings. In six starts since leaving the closers wall to solidify the back of the rotation, he is one and one with a 2.03 ERA in 26 and two third innings. He was effective with a slider that kept the Diamondbacks hitters off balance during his five strikeout performance. Ian Kennedy pitched a perfect ninth for his 21st save of the season and fifth since the Phillies got him from Texas at the trade deadline. Good luck to the Philadelphia Phillies in their next game against the Washington Nationals on Wednesday, and let's get back to first place in the National League East. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Let's Talk Sports.